Well, tonight, a conversation with Norm Coleman. Back in August, the former senator announced he was battling cancer for a second time. It's something he and I have in common. In his case, it's metastatic lung cancer. He's undergoing treatment at Mayo Clinic that's cost him his hair, but not his positive attitude and outlook. Well, I think the first thing that we both can agree on is that cancer sucks. It really sucks. I, I was wondering, could you say that on TV? I was going to ask you that. I'm going to say tell it, you, I was if you want to say it, you can say I was, it yeah, can, I can I say on TV <laughs> that cancer sucks? That's a terrible thing. Especially the second time around. Yeah, that's, yeah for both of us. You've, been, you've gone through chemo. You're now going through radiation. Tell, give us Radi an update well, as to where you are. So uh, one thing I want to communicate to your view is, is that having stage four metastatic cancer in your lungs is not a death sentence. I had a PET scan a couple of weeks ago and, and it was clear, there was nothing. Now, as you know, right. and I know, yeah. ha not showing up in a CT scan or a, a PET scan, okay, doesn't mean that you don't have cancer. Correct. That, that, uh, uh, that's the reason I'm going through radiation five days a week for five weeks, plus chemo once a week. I really believe that I have been lifted up by people praying for me great medical care at Mayo Clinic. And so I had very few side effects from chemo other than this look, a couple other things. Have you not been proactive? And, yeah, oh yeah, right. And, and, and I was blessed by having it, having it earlier because Mayo was still checking up on me. It was part of a clinical trial. If, if there's a message to folks who are watching this, you know, you gotta be proactive. For, for, this, you know, for the sake of your family, for the sake of your loved ones, for the sake of your friends, okay, so that they don't have to kind of all of a sudden get to a point where why didn't you check that out six months ago a year ago so the the bottom line is you are continuing with this treatment i'm really hopeful and praying that that at the i'll start 2019 with cancer in the rearview mirror i have something for you not that it you know has your name on it but it definitely has ah. what what you want to have happen and so do i Oh, that's great. Two for two. That's, that's fabulous. That's exactly what we want to have happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Thank, thank you, my friend. Absolutely. I was impressed with his inner strength today and his openness to share his story. The senator has a long way to go yet in his treatment, but as you heard, he is hopeful that 2019 will start with a clean bill of health. I can relate.